Greetings, everyone. I have not had another theme park baby. We are here at Lakeland, outside of the RMP funding arena thingy. And it's wrestling, it's Ring of Honor. And if it's Ring of Honor and there's wrestling, Sam's with me. Yes. As of course, as we do the necessary, let's watch wrestling and then let's wait till afterwards to talk to wrestlers. That seems to be the thing. That's what you do. Because the last time we got to talk to Kofi Kingston. That was nice. That was awesome. So let's see who else we run into after the show. Yeah. And here we go. It's Ring of Honor time. They got the kingdom over here and the merch table. Why not? Why not the merch table? Alright, why not the merch table? We are here in Lakeland, Florida with Ring of Honor. Look at the crowd that we already have in you are not. Nice. Tomorrow night in Miami, we will be in that place, and we have a stack card. But we have a stack card tonight. There's the Kingdom shirt. There's the I'm Matt Taven shirt, and these Melvins know right here. Especially this one. I know you. That if he wants to get laid, he'll take on that terrible Villain Club shirt that is blue repellent and put on the real Ring of Honor World Champion new shirt. Look at this thing. Oh my God! Look at. Those shoes are Oh my god. So they are clean. Yeah, they're clean. Clean, clean shoes. Now right? go on. Go on. Ladies and So the great thing about pro wrestling I love um, is I love it as an art. It's an art form to me. And in fact a lot of things that I learned or at least took with me from the wrestling world is something that I continue to bring over to the vlogging world. Um, I would probably would love to sit down and discuss it like in a vlog someday like just because a lot of those are the same a lot of the theories and a lot of the concepts in wrestling although you're not physically grappling with one another those concepts still kind of work into whether it's you know whether you're doing vlogging whether you're doing like work at a company whether you're doing anything it's it's promoting those self selling skills that puts you on top of the the list. Now when I was wrestling it sucked because I didn't really understand how to sell myself and put myself out there but the more I watch um, or at least learn what other people do and then I could take those concepts with me and I throw it into like vlogging or stuff like that then it's easier to sell myself. It's easier to walk up to somebody and approach myself you know. I may not have the most subs but I assure you a lot of folks know who I am and that that, my friends, is the most important piece of the puzzle. So we uh, we lucked out. Originally, our seats were going to be right back there, and we're going to be standing. But because of Sam's belief in Satan, the Dark Lord, we're we're literally ringside. So there's the entrance. They're going to be coming right here to right where we sit. A lot of them always. This. It's super close. I, I can keep this sign. Yeah, I'm a certified, Melvin, certified yeah. Melvin. Yeah. Taven, the real champ. This is kind of reminiscent of the uh, when I just got roasted by Matt Taven. Yeah. Probably not not too long ago. No. That's great. He and and I guess I'm. He didn't care for you at all. No. No, he he didn't. No. But hey, I'm a certified Melvin. Well, there you go. I noticed he didn't have anything to say about me. Um, well, because he, you, he didn't say anything to me. It's a beard. It's a beard. Don't make fun of me with his beard. He, he he knew you. He Nothing said. To lose. He said, "Is that Reverend Frico on Twitter?" Yeah. And he just uh -huh. and he felt it in his soul. He joined the congregation. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and there's something about pro wrestling that is an art form to me. It, it's a complete art form. It's a story being told from the very beginning of the story all the way to the end of the story, and it and it sucks you in. Whether it's a guy that's, you know, doing high fly moves off the top rope, or even if it's a guy like Zack Sabre Jr., a technical wizard who could just manipulate your joints from the very beginning of the match to the very end, and you can see the other guy struggling against this alligator of a man. At the very moment he grabs you, it's he's manipulating you and twisting you and stretching you beyond what you're capable of and it's just merely because you just came at him. These stories are so magnificent and I know people will probably be in the comments like well wrestling's fake 
wrestling's fake, sure. And I think if you believe that, cool. But I can honestly tell you, it's it's far from it. And it and I think at this point, everybody kind of understands um, what it is. And there is no qualms about it. Everybody gets what it is. But it's the story that is being told when you're watching these matches that is amazing. And you don't get these types of stories in any sort of sports medium. You, you can't, it's impossible. You can't get that story while watching a Super Bowl. Now, if that was a particular story, then, and if it was, you know, fake, then the Rams would have won because they would be the ultimate underdogs and that would have been like the ultimate return on money. Or if you take in consideration, um, a lot of UFC, right? UFC sometimes kind of like to play with the idea of introducing storylines. Now, although that is very real of UFC, but you can actually see those concepts where you have a young rookie and a you know an aging veteran and then they battle you just saw it recently with the anderson silva fight where he lost to a guy that you know that trained with him and it was beautiful and it was a beautiful moment because that was a beautiful story now how about telling that same story all the time and that's where wrestling comes in and it's beautiful it's beautiful it's art bros it's art By the way, we're at intermission right now. I can't record too much because I've been yelling the entire time. Sam, this is Sam's first Ring of Honor show. What do you think so far? Oh, amazing. It's also this guy's first Ring of oh, Honor hey, show. What's up? I, I want to bump in, yo. <laughs> no, actually, this is my second Ring of Honor show. What, man. your second? This is second. my first time sitting in front row. What? You know what yeah, hey, we're hey, sitting in front row. We're, we're being nuisances. Uh, like, too sweet. Oh, there you go. Too sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet. <laughs> Another fantastic ROA show. My voice is shot right now. There's Big Sam. Oh, it's beautiful. And we're literally ringside right now. So this is crazy. And then the downpour happened. It began to rain. Unfortunately, I couldn't really get to hang out with too many people. Couldn't really get to hang out in the back and wait for anyone. But that's it. Honestly, I had a fantastic time. I had a great time at Ring of Honor. Um, I appreciate everybody coming up saying hi. Um, saying hi to me and Sam. Very, very wonderful, wonderful show. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Smash that life button, baby. I'm sick of it. I'm out. Make, 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 make,